Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hemicraft Season 5 with me, Full Symmetry. Technically, I have already started this episode. Uh, I ended up over in Mumbo's to, to fix the, 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 the Easter egg hunt slash whatever it was called, uh, scavenger hunt thing that we built in a previous episode. And I put it, I, f I finally found the shipwreck guys, I finally put the chest in the shipwreck which made a lot, makes a lot more sense because I could not find that thing at all. But um, anyway, something happened when I was over there and I continued recording, so uh, let's cut to that now. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like as always. It's always appreciated and it helps the channel a whole bunch. Thanks, and uh, I guess enjoy the clip. So I haven't even started today's episode properly yet, and um, yeah. I'm over at Mumbo's because I moved the, the chest for the Easter egg scavenger hunt thingy, my bob, over to the shipwreck. It's in there, that yellow bit. I think that that's it. Yeah, it's over there now because it didn't make sense having that sort of rhyme. I can't even remember what it was, but it mentioned shipwreck or something in it, some sort of wreck. Mumbo has a shipwreck. I could not find it for the life of me when I made it and when I put the chest down there instead. But I finally found it thanks to Well tonight who went there first looking for it and then had to, you know have issues trying to find it. But anyway, I came over here and uh, I was just trying to get up somewhere so I could fly. But look at this guy. He's stuck in here. This is this is mean, Mum, but how have you... You've, you've made a trap for some skelly bob horses. That's not nice. Any more over here? No? There is an iron golem having a bit of a dance on, on the chest, but I guess I guess he's okay. But this guy, this guy's not okay at all. Look at him. I'm not even sure what this is for, other than bone mealing something that isn't there. But uh, I wonder if I can get this guy out. Can you... Oh, no. Um, if I pull up... A, uh, I don't have blocks on me, dude. I'm sorry. I can't save you. <laughs> wait, I can save you. Let me... Let me go pinch some blocks from Mumbo real quick. In fact, wait, what's in here? Blocks. There are blocks. Haha. -ha! Blocks. Okay, dude. I'm gonna save you. Come this way. Come on. Come this way. There you go. Now I can get you out. Right? Do I, oh, you know what I need to put on you? I need to put a saddle on you. And I don't have a saddle on me. But, okay, let me see if I can find a saddle real quick. And then, uh, then I'll be back. Mama must have a saddle, right? Because you get them in, uh, in farms and stuff. Anyway, let me make sure I remember which one this is. This one's the one that's got crazy farms in it. Okay, cool. Same as, the same as every one of them. I'm, t I'm sure, I'm sure I will never get lost. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I've also seemed to have come across some weird zombie fish. Hmm. Not sure what kind of uh, aquarium this is, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll just carry on along and uh, mind our own business, because that, that's just that's just plain creepy mumbo. What are you doing? Just to prove that I've come all the way back to my base to save this poor, this poor little uh, horsey, I guess. I don't know, he hasn't got a name, has he? Yeah, I'm back here at my base. Although saying that, I think I can fly to Mumbo's from here. I just need to work out what direction. It's over by the games district, right? You know what? With some more fireworks, I reckon we can even get ourselves to... Oh, guys, we're five away from the 5,000 club. Yeah, we are indeed. One moment. Let me get in the air. Let's go over to the games district, which is over towards Python's very, very laggy Patreon heads that he has in there. <laughs> I've literally worked out what the lag is. That lag spike that I believe Worlds Night also got in his video is, I'm pretty sure, pretty guaranteed. Uh, it's pretty guaranteed that uh, it's it's due to the heads that Python has in there, which makes him sound super creepy. But uh, yeah, I have a plan for some heads in, in other places, uh, other skulls decorated elsewhere. But um, yeah, we're not ever going to put it in our base because that is going to be an even bigger issue otherwise um, than it. Uh, Python has given us, which is no fun. I don't want a lucky base again like last season. We're not going there, but um, my most should be over here somewhere. Huzzah! I found Mumbo's. I can see all of the stuff, so we need to figure out which one the horsey is in. I'm, gonna, I'm coming for you, horsey. It's okay. You are in possibly this one, the furthest one away. No, yes! Yes, you are. Congrats. You have met. You're still stuck in the same place. How did you not get yourself out? I don't know, but finally, you're free. Let's, um... Oh, I need to do, maybe do that real quick. Don't go down back in the... I'm sorry. Don't! Really? Can you get out? 
with it. without that? No, of course you can't. But, oh, I've just thought this this this. I'm oh, I'm clogging up. Oh, but I've just worked out all the dirt just went into these. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mumbo. May have may or may not have broken it a little bit. Uh, don't mind me. It's fine. Also, how on earth do I get this guy even anywhere? I've just actually thought I'm saving this guy. Um, and I'm not able to actually get him anywhere. I just tried to nerd pole with a horse. That <laughs> I don't think somehow I don't think that's gonna work, folks. Just. Just, just, just so you know. Can I, please? There we go. Okay, well at least he's out of there. <laughs> That's something, right? Don't you dare fall back in here. Don't you dare do that. Right, let's figure out if we can put this guy anywhere. Or take him anywhere with us. Ah, <sighs> it's not safe to hang out here, man. You're going to be turned into a horse stew. And that's not going to be good for anybody. <laughs> oh, guys, I've just, just remembered. Mumba's actually made pathways, right? Oh, yeah, so we can get him... Possibly to the middle. Come on, we can get him to the middle, right? And then the nether portal's not very far away. Yeah, we just need him to like float down this water and not die. That's it. Oh, no, don't. He actually survived. No, don't do it. Get out of the water. It's not a ride. He's on half hearts, though. Oh, but how do I get him in the portal? Oh, he's regening. Oh, perfect. Okay. Right. He's going to die at some point, isn't he? I'm gonna, oh wait, I'm gonna end up ruining Mumbo's thing here, and aren't I, if I do that? Right. Oh, when I get on, on the horse, it doesn't work. Wait, when I get on the horse, it like brings him back down again. Come on, keep going, horsey. No, keep going. No, keep going. D dude, it's up here. <laughs> dude, get on the flipping platform, man. Yeah, you're on the platform, sort of, sort of, kinda. But it's okay. This guy's gonna take. <laughs> There's like no way. There's literally no way. Uh, okay. I might, I might have to just leave him here. <laughs> you know what? Stuff you horse. I'm just gonna get you out of the water, if I can. There you go. You, you're now gonna hang out here, taking my saddle back. That's it. I've given up on you, okay? I'm sorry. This is better than where you were, though. At least you won't get turned into horse stew. Right. That'll... That'll have to do. I'm sorry, man. I'll, uh... I'll catch you later. Bye! Enjoy your stay, enjoy your stay at Mumro's! Well, that's good, folks. Well well done. Ne nearly kill yourself in your own nether, nether tunnel. Great idea. Perfect. Anyway, guys, we are now ready to roll. I was gonna fly super smoothly through that nether portal right there and it was gonna be beautiful. It was gonna be it's gonna be amazing. Everyone was gonna go ooh and ah and the thing that I'm amazing at flying and then and then I then I face palm so didn't go quite to plan but today we're gonna have a quick nap actually. I've, uh, I'm, I'm fed up with that horse. That horse would not do what I wanted it to do in the slightest. I'm gonna have a quick nap and then we're gonna be working in our base again today. And we're going to be working in the air, something we haven't done yet, like at all. I don't think we've done it at all, in fact. Like, have we even built anything other than like a tower or like something like that? I don't think I've ever built anything in the sky here. And the sky is looking empty, right? And I've been reminded of this since we did the prank with myself and the convex. Uh, Mr. 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 Good Times of Scar and Cub Van. Until I did the prank on Azuma with the many, many flying machines that we built in his uh, volcano, which, are they still there? I don't know, let's have a quick look. But ever since then, I've been thinking, you know what, this is actually a thing we need to do. Like, at my base. I need to build some planes or some dro maybe not drones, maybe not a UFO, maybe not that. Uh, we need to build some of these. Yeah, some hot air balloons. <laughs> of course I picked the one that I, I built, <laughs> but no. No, not not like this though. That one's that one's on fire hugely. That one we built the spit spitfire as well. What else did we build? The other plane. Yeah, I don't I don't think we want to go too far with it. I don't really want planes. Planes wouldn't be there at the stage of like you know, that we're building this whole thing. Because all the people are going to be in the middle. They're not going to be out flying planes, but there are going to be a few people that possibly still live on the outskirts and probably travel by a hot air balloon, right? That seems like a legit way to travel once uh, there's no more... Uh, I don't know. 
no more engine fuel, I guess. I don't really know. But basically, hot air balloons is the way to go. And it's what we're going to be building today's in today's episode. So I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a fun one. We just need to figure out when, how, how large, just many different things, where to put it mostly, because I have no idea where we're going to want to put it. Somewhere. Somewhere over our base over here. And uh, I guess it should be a fun one. So let's figure all of that nonsense out. And I'll catch you guys probably in an hour when I have finally done that. Because it's going to take me a while. But yeah, it should look cool, hopefully. Should definitely add some extra sort of oomph to this base in some way. It's gonna look pretty sweet. Right, that's enough uh, horse-related nonsense. Nobody's got time for that anymore. Let's, let's get on with today's task at hand, which is the hot air balloons, like I've just mentioned. And I have been doing some sort of flying around, figuring out, looking at this area from different points of view. And I knew I wanted it over this half of the island. I knew over this half is where I wanted the hot air balloons because that being the like main area over there that I use a whole bunch, I want to be able to see them in the distance rather than, you know, be underneath them all the time. And also them flying over the houses would be not unlikely, but they're not like in the open, you know. So I want them to be... I think more so over these ships here. And I think I've decided on two different positions where I'm gonna want them. So if I can get my netherrack out of here, I brought a lot with me for the very reason that it's gonna be very, very high up in the air. Uh, and I think I've decided upon like above here somewhere. So I think what I'm gonna do is get down in the water. And if, well, if I can, that is, yeah, there we go. And do one, two, three. I've actually like planned out the actual specific areas for these. In fact, yeah, that should be correct. So one, two, three there. And here is where it's going to go up. So this is going to go up about 82 blocks. I'm going to have to do that counting off camera. And then I think the other one is going to go like sort of above this one. It's going to be a little bit lower down. Which is going to be nice. It's going to be a little bit low down. It's also going to be a little bit like they're not going to be in a, in a line. So it's going to actually be, if I've got ender pearls on me, up above this here. So if I grab the top of this and it's going to be up here somewhere. So this one's going to be like 40, I think I've written down 48 blocks. That's about average. I sort of just built up and was like, yeah, that'll do. And uh, basically just decided upon having it like half height just because when you're over here the angle that you see it at is you know you want it to be you want it to look natural you don't want it to look like you know I've built them well you actually want them to feel like they're actual hot air balloons you know going off into the distance if you guys have ever seen photographs of hot air balloons they're never like in rows they're always at different heights and you know usually usually quite close to each other if they're going together but, uh, you know, they're always a little bit sort of skew if and a little bit sort of not lined up. So those are the two areas we're going to be building our air balloons. Right, let me uh, do my laddering up and um, I guess we'll start on the air balloons. And yeah, I think what I'm going to do is build the bases of both of them first. And then we'll get to doing the, the wool, the sort of the balloon part of it, which is going to be hopefully looking pretty cool. Okay, so two platforms have been made. I'm just now grabbing out the stuff that I might need for this as well. That's all of that nonsense. And then the rest is just wool. So I think I've decided upon that one over there being blue. So it's going to be dark blue, light blue, and white. This one here is going to be dark grey as the main colour, and then light grey, white as well. So they're both sort of... I wanted them to be quite dark colours that are quite... Uh, within the colour scheme, I was going to say, are we going to make this? Ooh, just about. That was a good fly, actually. Sun is going down. Yeah, you're going to have quite a good view from up here. One thing that I did notice, though, which is both probably a good thing and a bad thing, is that from up here, it is actually spawnable. Uh, because we are in an ocean biome right now. Uh, because, obviously, well, we're technically over the ocean. This actually counts as ocean here, which is why that ship has carpets and stuff on it. To make sure it's all, like you know, good and stuff. And the same with that one, I think, as well. So we're going to have to be very, very careful with, like, spawnable areas. But I think from here on out, we're just going to sort of start building this thing. So I think what I've decided upon as well is that the front of these... 
<laughs> I'm so glad I've got wings. By the way, guys, we reached 5,000. I, I completely missed uh, reaching the 5k club. I was going to try and get it on camera, but alas, I have not managed to do that, have I? Um, but yeah, we actually, we're 5,012. Look at that. That's going to be at least 5,100 by the end of this, if I keep falling off at this rate. But yeah, so the front where it opens up is probably going to be here. And, uh, and then probably for that one, it might be this side. So we, we can sort of see out this way um, on that one, and we can see out this way on this one. It's going to look pretty nice. The view from up here is really cool, actually. It's, it's, it's just the right distance. You can see how when I'm over there, these are going to be sort of faded. I guess putting them more in the center would have worked quite nicely, because then they wouldn't have faded too much. You'd be able to see them from anywhere on the island. They'd load in, but I guess it, that just depends on chunk loading, doesn't it, really? And how, what the server fancy is doing that day, because the server can sometimes be a bit funky. But uh, yeah, anyway, I need to start building this thing. going to build the bottom of this one. Gonna build the bottom on that one, and uh, yeah, you can really see the height difference here, but they're gonna be built up quite tall, so yeah, they're gonna really make quite the impact, I think. Right, the sun is coming up by the looks of it, actually. It's taken all night to make this one thing. <laughs> really? Has it really taken that long? Okay, that's just embarrassing. Maybe I'm, uh, I'm getting rusty in my, my old age. No, I'm actually not even that old. Well, I'm old, but not that old. Anyway, it <laughs> doesn't matter. What's that got to do with the big balls? No one, no one knows. Anyway, we're adding the sort of sandbaggy things. So this design, by the way, I am going to put a link to, I think, where I got it in the description, if I can find it. Because we're actually going to be using someone else's design here, because just hot air balloons are all at the same, technically, anyway. Literally, you build a hot air balloon, like the one that I built in there, like I just built that off the top, off the top of my head. Uh, it just looks like every other hot air balloon. Like <laughs> Every hot air balloon in Minecraft looks the same. Because they're all the same. It's the same shape over and over and over and over and over again. So so this one in particular, I just like these added touches. I'm, I'm not sure if I need to make these lower here. I'm going to double check that if that looks good or not. I'm going to just hop into a different world and build this and see if changing the length of these might be quite nice. I think so. But let's have a quick fly. Seeing as I did manage to get myself a little platform there. Yeah, right now, literally, is the basket. It's literally just the basket, the flame, all of that nonsense. But it does look like half a hot air balloon, which is good. <laughs> it's what I want at the moment. It's the balloon part that's the pain in the butt. So uh, let's see if we can get a nice landing in here. And hopefully we can finish off the next one, at least to this stage, uh, by the next night. Because otherwise we're going to be slacking <laughs> behind. So I realise this might not actually be the most riveting project to work on. But hey, anyway, update, I'm getting on to the stripes here, and yeah, I'm definitely using my reference images here, because otherwise I'm going to lose track of where I'm going with this. So, this is where we start bringing in the dark again. So, we've got the dark there, let's get rid of the axe, we don't need that. Let's get the nether axe there as well. So, this goes up one, it then comes out in the, re the relevant colours that we've used, so it goes like that. And then, funnily enough, this comes out some more and goes up two. That does look a little bit odd, doesn't it? But I guess that we then fill that gap in with these. Oh man, I'm, this is why this is why I, I, I decided against doing my own <laughs> my own design because I wanted like stripes like this, and I was not pulling it off in the slightest. It was just not working at all. So that like goes like that. Perfect. Cool. It was very, very difficult to actually do this, though. Like, replicating something which is a, just a confusing design in general is just difficult. If you can work out the easiest way to do something, like I'm sort of doing right now, I feel like this is the easiest way of doing something. Doing corners like this and then looking at it like this. So that's that. And then I get... Yeah, then we just go up again. Okay, so that's, that, that's like a repetitive sort of thing going on there. Interesting. And then I think we go up one more time, in fact. Okay, this isn't as difficult as I thought it might be. Yeah, because then, then again, I fill in the gaps here. Nice. Um, and then, yeah, I think I literally did the same thing again, I think. Wait, no, now, cause now I've got, like, this weird... <laughs> now I've got this weird... Now, I think I'm pretty sure that goes in like that, and that goes in like that. So let's fill those in. That there goes up, which means that one there goes up. <laughs> This is why this is why I like need three accounts if anything. I need like an account for building, an account for seeing what I'm doing here, and an account for using the reference image. I guess I could have just taken a screenshot, that would have worked quite nicely. But yeah, basically we want an L shape there. 
and then it almost sort of goes up. I literally think that that is it. But yeah, like I like I say, I think what I'm gonna do is actually go take a screenshot um, and double check that I'm doing this correctly. And also this comes out like this, which is weird. Yeah, something's gone wrong here. <laughs> screenshot type it is. This isn't working quite as well as I'd hoped. I wonder how bad that looks. Let's have a look. Let's see how badly we, we messed up. That balloon just looks very deflated. Like me right now. I feel very de <laughs> deflated. Also, this the sky is also very deflated. It's it's missing all of its lovely clouds because of the rain. Dang it! Okay, this is definitely wrong. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Oh my actual goodness! This took way too long. Way 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 too long. Just finished it. Oh man, this is only one of them. I've got a whole second one to do over there. But hopefully, I haven't stepped down from this since uh, since I did in the last clip to have a look if it's correct. But I'm hoping so. I, I, I used the screenshots to my advantage. Oh yeah, that looks really good. That looks really good. Oh, I want to see it from down here. Yes. One higher up. Yes. That's the lowest it was going to go. Because that, that's sort of like the top of this sort of thing. Yeah, that's sort of where I wanted it to be. Perfect. I can almost guarantee that there are going to be invisible blocks somewhere around here. That one wasn't invisible, I knew that one was there, but I can guarantee if I re-log, which I won't do yet, I'll do the whole second one and then re-log, because, uh, yeah, I need to just get on and do it at this point. I was going to show you guys me making it. You know what? Actually, we can. We can do a bit of a time-lapse. In fact, uh, let's do that, guys. Let's go ahead and let's roll in time-lapse. Last but not least, I have to do the very, very grindy task of adding carpets to the tops of these so that we don't get any spawns on top. Not too worried about uh, anything actually being damaged unless someone did land on one and there was a creeper on the other side. You technically can't see very well over these things, so that could possibly happen, I guess. Have I not been around here yet? I haven't. Blimey, okay. I, I feel like I've been around the whole thing like twice already. Okay, there, there we go. That must be where I started. Okay, cool. So I've basically got to just make sure... I think we'll start with the light blue. Make sure that it's all covered with not a very nice looking carpet, but I guess you can't really see it from far away. It's not really a massive issue, and then it's going to save this from being blown up. So I've got to spend a little bit of time doing this. I'm going to concentrate on it so that I don't miss anything. I think that's a carpet. That is a carpet. Cool. And um, yeah, and we'll do the grey one as well. And then hopefully in a moment we'll have them all done, all carpeted and all nice and safe for us to check out and have a one last look at. Because I'm pretty, I'm pretty, ch I'm pretty chuffed with how these turned out actually. They look pretty, pretty good actually. Pretty good. Well, I forgot to light up this one when I left it. I did everything but light up the inside now. Oh. Now we have a friend that's killed himself. Okay, well that that works for me, I guess. I was just, just about to put some lighting here, because that's the only place that doesn't have carpets. But what we'll do is we'll leave that with carpets. We'll hop in here. Nothing's in here. Perfect. We can light it up. <laughs> light it up in here. Then we can leave it. Perfect. Oh, that that could have been so bad if that creeper didn't jump in that fire. So glad. I'm, I'm glad that I left that bit open at the bottom, because I guess that probably stopped a lot more spawns as well. But we'll make this all nice and tidy, and uh, then it'll be good to go. Okay, they should both be completely non-spawnable, unless there's any dark points at the uh, on the bottom basket of the hot air balloon. But let's have a bit of a spin around here. Let's let them look. In fact, let's get on the floor and have a look up, because that's where... Yeah, look at that. They're like loading in. That one isn't quite loaded in properly. Let's come past the trees. Oh yeah, that's that's exactly what I wanted. That is the look I wanted. Look at that. Faded, fading in there. Beautiful. That one's quite low down, but yeah, just, oh yes. <laughs> I'm actually super happy with those. 
I think those look fantastic, in fact. Yeah, I like them a lot. Guys, let me know what you think down below. I really want to know your thoughts. If there's anything else like this, little touches I could make. I know I need to make some more wells and things like that around the place. Poles of logs or stuff like that. I just need little detailed stuff like this. Because this stuff, to me, when I see someone else's map or someone else's base, it like completely makes the base, right? It's the small details for me. Uh, which is why I'm doing stuff like this. Yeah, I'm really happy with those. They look really great. They're nice and easy to fly by. They're not, just in, the, they're not in the way. You can land on them. They're just super cool. Like, let's land on the blue one right now. Wee! Okay, there we go. See, I'm on it. There you go. Done. And I can fly off it nice and easily. It's so cool! I'm really happy with them. I'm so glad that I went with that design as well with the two stripes. Uh, different colours. I think they work really nicely together. Guys, leave a like if you did enjoy today's episode, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.